Elizabeth Gibson is studying engineering and technology management here at Portland State University. Her thesis is titled Dynamic Process for Business Model Generation Using Fuzzy Cognitive Maps. Elizabeth, take it away. Okay. Bill Gates and Mark Zuckerberg have a couple of things in common. You might be thinking wealth, influence, the ability to exploit technology delivering hundreds of billions of dollars in value to their companies. And I'd say you're right. But did you also know they weren't the first to market? Not with accessible technology or the first social networking site. So why did they succeed while others failed? They had the first business model. A business model defines the value to the customer, it explains how much they'll pay for it, and it articulates exactly how you're gonna build and deliver that value to the customer. It takes art and skill, time and resources, and research says that most companies change their business models three or four times on the way to profitability. So it makes sense that because it's so important to the management practice, we should have a lot of tools and processes to help. Surprisingly, that's not the case. Currently, the best known practices are to map the business model into a canvas. This helps. The problem is it's static. It's like having a map being stuck in downtown Portland traffic, having an important meeting on the other side of the river. Now, most of us can imagine that a dynamic tool like a smartphone with Google Maps would be a better solution. My point is, technology is moving so fast that a static map quickly becomes obsolete. This is where I come in. My research has been looking at methods and models to bridge that gap between mapping and modeling, creating a dynamic process for business model generation. And what we found is a mathematical modeling approach based on neural network theory that links those elements of the business model together in cause and effect relationships. This method is called fuzzy cognitive maps. What we can do is we can build a model now and we can run what-if scenarios. We can also take data from our market experimentation, put it back into the model, grounding our learning. It's like being able to tweak the criteria and tune it, finding the sweet spot of the customer value. So my research has found a method. Further research shows promise of being able to make this method accessible to entrepreneurs. What's really exciting for me is now, maybe the first entrepreneurs that come out with the technology armed with a dynamic tool set can also be the first ones to get their business model right. Thank you.